You're the one who killed my host. So you're gonna help me find a new one. Now here's the deal. There's a coven which meets in the catacombs beneath the city. To call them witches would be uh, generous. They are mostly bored house husbands and housewives with too much time on their hands. Basically, they're always trying and failing to summon demons. But they have somehow managed to acquire the Shadeborn Grimoire. You will need to get it back. Huh. How shall we proceed? As you may have noticed, there's a big piss-off gate in the way. Go get it open. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. So listen, I can get this thing open, but I'll need to channel my powers through a host. Namely, you. But you're a little too goody-goody for that right now. I couldn't possess you even if I wanted to. Which I don't. Good people are so icky inside. How about we rub a little shine off that soul of yours, huh? Go do some bad stuff. Why not stop by scamming some town folk rubes out of the money? That'll be fun. Ooh, that sounds kind of icky. What if we did something slightly less evil, like, um, cutting in line? Zygaxis ponders your real dumb suggestion. Ah, uh, fine. I suppose that's evil adjacent. Just so I'm clear, we're doing bad stuff at the behest of a demon? This feels out of character for us. Come on, Fred, live a little. Y'all want that sweet reward, don't you? Then play along. <sighs> Fine, but I'm not changing my character's alignment over this. We'll call it a mulligan. What the hell is a mulligan? Yeah, is that some sort of spell I haven't heard of or something? No, it's... never mind. I'm afraid I can't come to the door because I despise human interaction. Hey, I get it. <laughs> but would you be willing to donate to charity? Oh, this is already unbearable. I can feel my skull crawling just hearing you talk. If I give you money, will you go away? Yeah, I can do that. Here, now, please go away and stop talking to me. with my own name and backstory in stock. I'm seeking donations to Habitat for Insanity. They're building affordable, non-Euclidean housing for Eldritch Gods getting back on their feet. Hmm. All right. You're lucky I'm also exceedingly wealthy with a kind and generous heart. Here you go. I'm just here collecting donations. Donations? Donations? Oh, I hate charity. It's all a scam. I'll show you what I do to scummy donation takers. <laughs> well done. Well done. Keep at it. Next, I want you to paint my demonic sigil around the town to increase my power. And deal with any gods that try to stop you. Or, or, and hear me out, what if we played a prank on someone, huh? How about that? <sighs> you do you, Will.
supposed to keep off the grass piss off I love grass oh all right all I needed was for one person to respect my authority today but I can't even protect a patch of grass I'm not cut out for this <sighs> I'm not cut out for this I guess you technically did something bad even if it was not very bad at all the man Still counts! Sort of... But that guard went home to rethink his life. He left the city guard, and eventually he died! Due to a fatal accident involving swords! And juggling! Because he, he decided to, to be a juggler of, of swords. Oh, poor guy. Oh, well, I must say, I'm disappointed in you. But I'd say you've done enough evil adjacent things to host my demonic personage. Come back to me so we can get this gate open. this feeling at all. Oh, get over it! Now then, approach the gate! Here we are! Now, a forceful blow should do it! Well, go on, have a look! Ugh, these insufferable wannabes must have 
have set up some kind of secret passageway. Only idiots think secret passageways are cool. However you feel about it, figuring out how to open them is always fun. Oh, my mistake. I didn't realize that you, too, are an idiot. Secret passages tend to have secret switches. It must be hidden nearby. Damn it, Acolyte Mabel! Your pronunciation is terrible! How are we supposed to summon a proper demon when you insist on pronouncing it Ergaxiton? When it is clearly right there, you know that's the, the deep dark that suffers no light does not grant its power to those who mispronounce the language of bone and claw. Now we have to start the ritual all over again. Why are you always blaming me for everything? Tell me, High Priestess Liara, how many demons have you successfully summoned, huh? Well. I was this close to summoning Hexagorix, the geometric power, just the other day. Uh-huh. Sure you were. I was! But then Acolyte Preston sneezed and blew out a ritual candle. It really ruined the whole vibe. I... Stop right there! Who dares interrupt our dark machinations? Don't worry, I got this. I am the dreadcock known in the common tongue as Zygaxis. You will hand over the shade born grimoire to this, my fleshy vessel, or I will summon forth the forces of the deep dark that suffers no light to eviscerate your unworthy bodies. Do not test me. Hmm, no, I don't think I will be doing that. For one thing, I don't believe you. For another, who's ever heard of Zygaxis? Um, I have. Yeah, me too. Two arms, Acolytes! Very well! You have sealed your own fate! You wanted to summon the forces of the deep dark to show us no light! Well, here they are! <laughs> Save with the best! 
Nestad, hey, wait a minute. Are you trying to get me possessed or something? You've discovered our ruse. Actually, that sounds pretty boss. I'm into it. Exafelgrok Nestat Interidum Monocar. Now, Vaxen, are you prepared to host my essence? Totally, my dude. Fill me up. Very well, then. As your humble servant, I can't wait to see what kind of stuff we can do together. That's a good boy. Farewell, adventurer. I'm sure our paths will cross again. Eventually. I have mixed feelings about everything I've just done. <laughs> 